You know, one thing to be really successful on a big lake like this, uh, CAG is almost 20,000 acres. And you know, throughout the course of a season, the fish make pretty dynamic movements. Uh, as I was speaking to Steve, he was saying, you know, what happens is because the lower end of CAG is actually the big shallow flat water basins, and that's where a lot of the creeks come in. And a lot of these fish spawn on main lake points and as well as in these where these creeks come in. Uh, throughout the summer, like where we're right now, or late, late summer, a lot of the fish are really sort of moving towards the deeper water basins. In the uh, west side of the lake, all along this side of the lake is the deepest ditches. So throughout this time, a lot of the fish are actually moving out of those shallow water basins and really surrounding this deep water ditch that runs along the whole west side of the lake and that's where we caught all the fish. The interesting thing is everything's in there. That's where all the deep water forage is at in those deep ditches. The lake trout are in the basins of these things but the walleyes and the pike are around the perimeters of this deep water basin on this side of the lake. Prime rep. <laughs> Can't beat that. You know, you come up to these Canadian lakes throughout the summer months, like right now, Nick and I are up here and it's uh, early August. So a lot of the walleyes are really located, you know, around the deep water main lake basins of the lake. And it's sort of interesting in the fact that when we came into camp, a lot of the uh, guests and guides said, well, a lot, a lot of the fish are holding at like between the 18 and 25 foot level. Now that's sort of relative, uh, classic, back trolling what we're right doing right now on main lake points and sunken islands will work really efficiently but the other thing you have to realize is a lot of times what these fish do they'll be at the same depth level but out over deep water you know you get on any of these banks we've been driving around with our depth finder as soon as you find fish and we're just taking a classic 3a sounds moon eye jig and a small big bite jerk minnow like this and Nick's been fishing a jigging wrap and we catch fish everywhere. I mean, you drive around, you find a pot of fish, you drop down and you catch them as fast as you, you see them. The other really uh, cool pattern for really catching really bigger fish actually is uh, suspension. In a lot of these uh, deep water lakes like this, there's a lot of deep water forage, ciscos and tulabies and a lot of the bigger fish are feeding on those. But the interesting thing is, is they're just suspended over deep water and a lot of times they're at the same depth level is what you're catching them, catching them along the bank. There you go, those are the ones. That's what we were catching right there. That's what it was, yeah. Hey, for more information, check out visitsunsetcountry.com or call 1-800-665-7567 to get a free guide and map.